Hi there, friends. Welcome to this week's edition of Forever Friends, where every week we introduce to you a new adoptable, wait, <laughs> normally, dog. Yeah. We're going to mix things up this week. A new adoptable furry friend named Aria, who happens to be of the feline <laughs> family. Yes. So, you know, it's about time that somebody else got recognized. Um, and I feel like it's it's Aria's moment. Yes, thank you for spotlight. coming. Yes, to, and we are at Foothills. Yes, we're, we're actually offsite. We're at Foothills Animal Rescue. I'm here with Emily. I'm here with Aria. Tell me about this sweet kitty cat and what her story is and why we need to find her, her forever home. She is um, a unique girl. So so she, as you can see, we're not in a cat room. We are in the back <laughs> offices of Foothills Animal Rescue because this is her ruling Domain. ground. <laughs> um, Aria came to us just about two years ago in about November of 2021. Um, from Paige, she had kittens with her right. and uh, about three or four, I believe, but they were adopted, all doing well. And it was at that time she decided that she did not want other cats Motherhood around. was not for her. You know what? And that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Sometimes it's just not Sometimes what we're cut out to not. be. And at least um, she made that decision exactly. before having more. So yes. that's good. <laughs> yeah. So um, she's been spayed, microchipped, all up to date on vaccines. And now we know she needs to be an only cat in a household. Okay. She would be an amazing work from home friend. Um, you told me she loves Zoom meetings. She loves, well, I don't know about love <laughs> if she keeps hanging up on them. But she loves to lay on the laptop yes. during Zoom meetings yes. to make sure it's not a very important call. Exactly. <laughs> she's supervising. That's what we call her when we're around the conference table is she's our supervisor. Um, yeah, she loves to sit in a lap. She loves to sit in a chair and get a nap in. Um, she loves to eat, I would I would guess. That's just a guess. That's, that's, that's a great educated guess. guess. That is a really good guess. Oh, I'm sorry. She's giving me the most judgmental look. Like, I know that you're talking about me. Uh, yeah, um, Aria, yeah. curves are beautiful. She She's a social eater. So just like how she likes to be around people who are talking, if you're, like, talking in a room where her food is, she'll, okay. like, go and eat it. Okay. So she, to each she their own. And when she's happy, she eats. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah, she, so she's, a happy, she's obviously in a loving, happy environment yes. because she's, she's definitely healthy. We've she's definitely healthy. noticed that she does well back here uh, rather than in a room by herself. Um, she likes to be around the people. She will um, kind of yell at you if you've been gone over the weekend. Okay, okay. Um, in the morning, she's waiting right next to the door for the first person to walk in and She's pretty vocal too. Yeah. Like she does like to chit chat with you, which is um, always fun. <laughs> so basically she kind of runs the show here. Yes. Um, I'm realizing that. So what are you guys going to do when she gets adopted and your boss is no longer here? I guess we just are done at that point. <laughs> when I guess the boss is away, the, the, the mice will play. Is that what they say? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, Aria. that would be great. She would, um, I mean, that'd be amazing. It's almost, it's just about 600 days here. Okay. So, um, so it's time. It's time yeah. that we get Aria's beautiful beautiful face of royalty yeah. out to the world you know maybe aria we don't want you here any longer because then you'll be the next cat I that's know. on the on the t-shirt yeah. um, we got some happy stories here tell me about the shirt is it still so, for sale yes. yes okay yes this is our aria. halloween okay excuse aria. me this is what she does all the time <laughs> she's like you shall not see the shirt <laughs> okay what if aria. we're right next to there the we shirt. go there we go okay so this is our halloween um 2023 nixon shirt and nixon was a cat that we had just for about 500 days same kind of deal um he needed to be an only cat he needed an experienced cat owner and um, thankfully, even since after we launched the shirt, he has been adopted. So, so great. he Yay. is in an amazing home, but his shirts are limited edition. They're still for sale. They'll be on sale through October, but once it's we're so cute. gone, they're <laughs> gone. So they're gone. So we need to get her adopted before she ends up being the next shirt. Yes. I mean, yeah. Alda, you would probably really love to have We'd that have kind, to do of, some kind of, you know, queen yes, theme absolutely. Or... I could just see a pink, yeah. like Barbie shirt with a crown on the Ooh, kitty. And, okay, now you know, I'm getting ideas. I mean, it's never too late for the shirt. Yeah. Okay, it's never too late for the shirt, but yeah. it's never too late to be adopted either. No, and we she's, definitely she's ready. Uh, although we'll miss her Sweetie so much. Night. You know, that's our main goal here is for everyone to get adopted into a loving home so it'll definitely be a bittersweet moment but but we need to make it happen yeah. so the only way for that to happen friends is if you share aria's story um she's definitely look at her she's just got so much personality she, she is her own 
truly yeah. the biggest personality I've seen in a cat. It's quite <laughs> So if you crazy. want basically a, a cat that has the personality of a human, yeah. this is the kitty for you. Just be prepared. You are no longer in charge. Nope. Um, Aria You'll is the boss. You'll have to give up. And that is just how it is. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. That's why we love cats, right? <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> Definitely. So if they wanted to adopt Aria, what would their uh, process be? So we are doing adoptions by appointment. You can go to our website, foothillsanimal.org. <laughs> See, she just wants to be a She's part like, of everything. Please pay attention Hello? to me. Hello? <laughs> um, foothillsanimal.org. Make an appointment. Okay. Come and meet her. Um, during your appointment, you have the whole hour. You can yeah. meet her. You can meet all the cats. Yes. Um, we really try to make that best match possible yeah. to give you, uh, send you home with a with an animal that works for you. Yes. And the it's animal. like dating. It's the same thing. Yeah. We're going to make sure that all those stars align and, you know, you're swiping right on the right creatures. So. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's swipe right, right? This is maybe why I fail in dating because I don't even know the direction. But, yeah, you know. You know what I'm trying to <laughs> sure. say here. So, yeah. now we do also, I mean, we can't leave out what we normally do, right? So, we do also have a pup that we would yeah. like to introduce to everyone today. So, don't forget about Aria. Share her story. But let's go meet this week's pup. <laughs> Yay! We are back for part two of this week's edition of SJ's Forever Friends. And we are still at Foothills Animal Rescue. We're out in the play yard mm -hmm. with Emily and this week's doggo. This is so who's Sammy. This? Oh, Sammy. Sammy is about six months old, so he is still in training, but he is a special boy <laughs> because he's deaf. He's deaf um, you guys. So we are teaching him hand signals. Um, and keeping it simple so that his future adopter can get more specific with his hand signals. Okay. Um, but he's working with our enrichment team. He <laughs> loves to play with other dogs. <laughs> I love him. He loves group playtime out here um, with some of our other adoptable friends as well. And he would just be a great family dog, a great yeah. hiking dog. Yeah. Um, once you just get used to the fact you can't call his name yeah. to get him to come over. Yeah. I keep trying to make na noises at him. Yeah. And he's, you know. That um, kind of never goes no, away. No, you're always no. going to make You're always going to do it. But, I mean, it, it does not hold him back. He, no. He, there's, yeah, nothing not at holding all. him back in no. any way, shape, or form. And he probably was born this way. Yeah. So we assume he, he was born different. this way. He came to us this way. Um, yeah. And he's still pretty young, so yeah. I assume so. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, if you have another dog mm -hmm. at home who's looking for a friend, um, sometimes it's nice to have one hearing dog so okay. that they can help out the okay. deaf dog. Yeah. Um, and we see that signals. a lot, right? Yeah. We see that the dogs that can hear kind of yeah. teach them. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's exactly. such a cool, amazing thing. I know, thing. isn't that yeah. cool? Yeah, <laughs> animals are so amazing. Are you going to fall down? <laughs> you are a clumsy little sweet thing. I'm I, obsessed that, you with them. You can't eat that. You can't I'm eat the camera. Come here, you can't eat the camera. You can't eat that. He's like, I want to be the star yeah i want to be the star so, so he's super sweet loves everyone loves other dogs um and he's just waiting he's ready to take himself on a walkie this yeah. is i mean he's he's like i'm gonna go on a walk now guys all right see okay ya. i see you later he's so happy he's yes. got such a great demeanor yeah and honestly it's it's just i would never know i would have never known except for the fact that yeah he doesn't he turn his head when you. i call his name <laughs> exactly. and so come here you cute little boy come here come here he's just the sweetest thing and so if someone wanted to adopt him what would that process be so um head to our website foothillsanimal.org make an appointment to come meet sammy <laughs> if you have another dog at home bring them with you to okay. the appointment um for those kinds we have you know you the human come meet him first and okay. if all that goes well then we introduce your dog to them and That's see perfect. how that goes and because uh, we want that to be a match too. yeah That's we just yeah, yeah during those we're not looking for like best <laughs> friendship right away yeah. um we're just looking to see how they do with each other yeah. because normally the other dogs as well are kind of nervous in this yeah. situation this yeah. is a new area for them yeah. so just a just a quick intro to see if you guys and can be best friends later. A great later. way for a dog that maybe has never been around a deaf pup to kind of become like, yeah. oh, this is new. Definitely you a know? learning curve yeah. for the other dog as well. What a great 
potential bonding friendship. Definitely. Like that's, I would love to watch that blossom between two dogs. Oh, you're not gonna have a hard time finding a home. So we're gonna get your face out there. Everybody, please, please share his story. Let's get this sweet boy the home that he deserves. And same with Aria and mm -hmm. all the other pets here. We've got a at lot. Foothills. <laughs> yes, and, and we'll do a quick flyby of how yeah, great this facility is. And, yeah, and yeah, thank yeah. you so much for bringing us thank out here today. Thank you for coming. Oh my gosh, it's so great being off site and being here to see everything. <laughs> Everybody, and you got, I gotta say, you know, the facilities are absolutely beautiful yeah. for that in between portion of their lives when they're looking for that forever home. Mm -hmm. Foothills is it. I mean, this is Thank this you. is a doggy mansion. This is a palace. It's a kitty mansion palace. You know, if they're gonna be anywhere yeah. in those in between stages, it's. It's here. So thank you for all that you thank guys you. do. Thank um, you. Before we go, I wanted to mention a little bit. Uh, we were talking about Bryn Smith. Uh, yeah. So can we tell that story of really course. quickly to everyone? So the campus here that we're in is called Bryn Smith Memorial Campus. Um, this building and the land was uh, purchased for us through the Arizona Community Fan Foundation and Bryn Smith's family mm -hmm. um, to uh, make this for us, for to have a safe haven for these dogs and cats until yeah. they find their forever home home so yeah. we really try to incorporate her into this building a lot yeah. through her tattoo light fixtures her 831 catchphrase yes. um, and tell everyone what that is so 831 is eight letters three words one meaning i love you and she would kind of use it as a text send off to her friends and family just to say i love you as she went so we do an adoption uh event around august 31st every year and another one in january for her birthday as well awesome so are there some sponsored dogs and cats with the 831 right now we or did have that they been adopted okay uh, we yeah. did that a couple okay. weeks ago um so yeah yeah, we got a lot of adoptions awesome. from that, which, I love was, it. which was awesome. Yay. And uh, another one coming up in January. That's so perfect. Yeah. That's so perfect. And yeah, like I was saying, if, if only all of us could leave a legacy behind the way that she has. Yeah. So, so thankful for her and everything that she's done for Definitely. these creatures. And she's still doing it as a guardian angel yeah. to this day. Yeah. Her so. family, her parents are amazing. Yeah. So that's phenomenal. We're so happy to be here. So please, everybody, uh, come out to Foothills Animal Rescue. Check out this amazing facility. And uh, if you can adopt, adopt. If you can volunteer, volunteer, foster. Um, any kind of donations are always you oh, know, we so also, welcome. Oh, um, we also, just really quick, we, we have a new doggy day out program. So Ooh, it's like a doggy field trip. I think I saw this yes. on your Instagram. Yes. The application is on our website. Um, and you just fill out the application. And then it's drop-in style. Oh. Between 10 and 4, you just come in. We match you with the dog. You can take them out for a field trip. You can go hiking when it's cooler. Take them to oh. a dog patio for lunch, a pup cup, oh all that kind gosh. of fun stuff. Didn't I see one of the dogs went to like a rescue training <laughs> and, and learn CPR? One of our volunteers is an EMT, <laughs> so she took him to EMT training. So I mean, really, the options are endless. And Truly. it's so great for the dog to get some socialization, yes. get them exactly. out of the shelter. and Get some exposure yeah. for adoptions okay. out, in, out in the real world. I'll make sure to provide that, that Instagram great. post and, yeah. and whatnot so that people can look at yeah. that as well. So, so many great things, so many ways you can help. Thank you again, Emily, Thank for having you. us out here. And we will see you guys next week. <laughs>